Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe my channel. And uh, today's topic was very interesting actually. A lot of uh, friends, a lot of my friends and my colleagues was asking me this question. Before that, I also have a doubt about this. Uh, the topic was on uh, the eligibility criteria of TCS. Is that 60% or 6 uh, 6.60 GPA? So or 50%. Lot of people are asking me that uh, your selected TCS, right? What was your uh, criteria or uh, what was the minimum percentage of uh, TCS? So I also have a doubt. So before I also have a lot of doubts that what was the eligible, correct eligibility criteria of TCS. So when I was joining, and right now I was an employee in TCS right now. So I will be knowing the correct eligibility criteria of TCS. So when I was uh, filling the documents, uh, TCS sent me a short mail uh, uh, regarding the eligibility criteria. So I will be showing you the exact uh, mail which is I, I got from TCS. So I will be showing you. So you will have an idea about it. What was the exact thing of uh, eligibility criteria of TCS? You know, you see a lot of uh, YouTube channels and, and you will be seeing a lot of... Uh, in Chrome also you will be seeing a lot of information regarding the TCS uh, eligibility criteria. Uh, the hiring from 2021 to 2022 eligibility criteria has been changed because the hiring was a little bit high the eligibility criteria was decreased to 50% only for some branches not for BTEC branches I think so and I will be showing the exact criteria which the TCS has been sent me so come on see so this was the see see here this was the uh, mail which is sent by the TCS See here, general eligibility of TCS onboarding, candidates should have 60% overall, so at least you should have a 60% overall of, of uh, 4 years or see they have been given or you should have 60% or 6 CJP is also acceptable overall. See here someone, some channel people are telling that 50% criteria is acceptable. See. They are given brackets over here 50 percent is overall or 5 CGPA overall if your highest qualification is they given the BC or BB, BA or BSC or CA. I think these branches are eligible for the 50 percent criteria and BTEX and other people are eligible for the 60 percent or 6 CGPA criteria. So for 10th class see here the education gap a lot of people was asking about the education gap also. Please let us know in advance if there is any gaps more than 24 months from the your 10th or higher or intermediate. So you should not extend 24 months of gap from the 10th or the inter which you are uh, completed your graduation. So the, this was the after that there will be BGC verification. I uh, will be going to that. So I think you got a clarif clarification regarding the regarding the thing which TCS have eligibility criteria because lot of people uh, have searched in uh, Google and a uh, lot of uh, comment section in YouTube also they have a lot of comment section uh, they will be commenting that uh, my percentage was 59 or 59 point something or 57 you have a uh, 6 point CGPA that you are acceptable according to the TCS uh, eligibility criteria from uh, 2021 uh, 20 and 21 batches and 22 also uh, the eligibility criteria has been changed to 50% also. Please, uh, if you have 6 CGPA, or el you are eligible for TCS. Thank you. If you have uh, more uh, doubts uh, regarding the issue of uh, percentage criteria, please comment below. I will be answering every question of yours. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.